creepy you would that. <laughs> I can tell. Hey everybody, Chris and Amber, welcome back to another episode. Hey everybody, Chris and Amber here, welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Today we are working on, I know this is going to surprise you, <laughs> trimming out the house. <laughs> Yeah, but we're downstairs today. We are downstairs. Woo yeah, so the first time we are down on the main floor Hi. and we're going to work on some crown molding. Starting off in the uh, office, or as I like to call it, the solarium. Yeah, whatever. Sounds fancy, right? Yeah, that's the right office. It's my <laughs> office. <laughs> but it's full of big windows and uh, you know, big, uh, glass doors and lets a lot of sun in. So technically it could be a solarium. I guess if you want to be all uppity. Fancy. No, not uppity. Just fancy. <laughs> I'm not snooty. Pretentious. It's a <laughs> so anyway, so we're putting up some crown in there and we're really excited about that. First piece of crown to go up in the downstairs. Uh, big open spaces, so we're hoping that uh, we won't have to work a lot around any corners today. Just some big long runs. Some of our crown pieces are 16 feet long, yeah. so that means we'll be able to cover a lot of territory very quickly. So it's going to be exciting, isn't it? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No big humps or crown and bumps quickly. in the ceiling or walls. Or... Crown and quickly just dump it. Not always, not always, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So let me show you what uh, we're getting into here and we'll get started. All right, so we're standing in the family room, also known as Amber's painting area, because she has been very busy here. She's got all her drying racks here and we worked, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday? Day before yesterday. Day before, cut your head off there, sorry. We worked uh, day before yesterday, we sanded down a bunch of stuff that she had primed Got it nice and smooth, and then she got oil base enamel on all of this. Yes. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, she got all that done yesterday. So all these pieces are ready to go. Yes. Yes. I can't wait to see all this disappear. I know, it's gonna be amazing when all this stuff is gone because you know our pile in the other room here is yeah. definitely yes. dwindling. Very low right now. I mean, this, this was a huge stack yeah. of stuff. So that's definitely dwindling. And then in the formal living room, This has diminished greatly as well. We got a lot of baseboard. Of course, that's the last thing to go after the hardwood floors go down. And then a little bit of crown and some casing. And then, and then some of those big panels there, those are uh, cased openings. There's also some uh, chair mold or chair rail. Chair rail, yeah, chair rail. got some chair rail. And then uh, some shoe. Of course, again, that's gotta wait till uh, the base goes down. But the rest of this is hardwood floors. And that's gonna diminish pretty quickly once we uh, transition from tile work to hardwood floors. So that's exciting. Hopefully it's just about a week away. Hopefully about a week, yeah. So we'll be uh, we'll be cruising then. All right, so let's take a walk around the way here. So I just got done cutting up a bucket of little nailers. Those are just uh, pieces of two by three cut on 45. Those will get nailed up across the wall here, make it a lot easier than trying to hunt for studs and joists. Uh, but we'll nail those up all around here. And then we're gonna be working around this way and then back into the family room and kitchen area. We'll probably stop somewhere around the double door area, maybe a little closer, because when we get over to right that big window, that's where the cabinets start for the kitchen. So we're gonna have to transition there and uh, you know, make some cuts along the cabinets and then we'll work back this way, coming from this side down this way, and then we'll have to stop short of this door. It's right there where Amber stands. That's uh, gonna be our beverage center. beverage center. So it'll be a wall cabinet there, and we'll have to have crown and everything around that. So we're gonna do everything we can in this area uh, without having to you know, guess where the cabinetry is gonna go. Right, babe? Right. All right, awesome. So we're gonna get some of these little nailers put up, and then we'll go ahead and get our first piece of crown started here above the double sliders going out of the pool. Man, it's a gorgeous day out there. It looks warmer than it is. I'd love to be outside working on a project outside. This is the first really nice sunny day we've had in a while, but much to do inside. So we're gonna get cracking and start getting some of those nailers put up and then we'll check in with you guys. All right, so we're just uh, got the first piece of trim up. This is trying to get the corner nice and square. He uses that sample piece of wood that he's coped to make sure that it fits. It's really pretty in here. I'm kind 
of surprised this uh, wall seems to be pretty straight. Shocking. <laughs> it is shocking. Especially because this part of the room used to be outdoors. <laughs> Given how bad it was in when we, how bad mm -hmm. this, the framing condition was so bad out here. That yeah. Amazing this whole end of the house didn't fall over. Mm -hmm. So these first two window panes, that's, a, that's where the double windows were. And then here in the middle where the slider opens was the wall, the exterior wall. And everything on this side, this half is all new. It was uh, an enclosed porch. So I think we've used really good, good use of space. Oh. Capturing that as living space which then allowed us to open this up. And then you've got, you know, a walk around the fireplace, which is nice. And a solarium. And a solarium. <laughs> for my office. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, one piece All right. woohoo. All right, so we got the other piece nailed in place and we got all our blocking up to do this side outside taking a measurement on one of the lights out there and we got some blocking up on this piece as well and right now we're set up on the saw over here to go ahead and cope the one end we're gonna cope the left end so I've got it clamped to the roller support there on the miter saw stand so this end's gonna get a cope joint and then once that's done, we'll go ahead and take it over, hold it in place, and see how everything looks. All right, so we got that piece uh, in there in the office. Solarium. <clears throat> and uh, it's looking pretty good, isn't it, babe? It is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we do have an overlap joint over on this end. Let me get around this massive pile of painted wood here. So we've got an overlap joint here. And I left the last few feet loose, didn't nail it up yet. A little bit of a hump in the ceiling here where there was a drywall seam, but uh, you won't even see that once we get the, the caulk along the top and bottom there. And we got a nice tight joint on this end. Got a good, uh, good cope there. So where we're working right now, we just got these nailers up along this part of the ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and do a full piece across here. 15, 16 feet, whatever we got. And then, um, then we'll do this piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and kind of make this up and put the coat joint on it and kind of put it together. And then that'll help us set the angle here. That way we get a good tight fit in that corner. Sound like a plan? Sounds great. Okay. All right, so this corner has been an absolute pleasure. Hasn't it, honey? Yeah, it's been awesome. <laughs> so there's some you know, irregularities in it. <laughs> but bit. Uh, Chris has just glued those two pieces together. We already glued this edge on. And I think we're about ready to nail it, aren't we? Well, we're gonna leave it hanging until we get our next piece on down there because we're gonna oh, okay. use the cope joint here okay. to set the angle gotcha. in the corner. Okay, is that good? All right. Yeah, Ooh. the... Uh, there was a hump in the ceiling down here, and there was another one here. Yeah. Where the sheets were put together. Put together, and then there was a little bit of a wave here in the wall. <laughs> and so to put this lap joint together without gluing it, I think would have been next to impossible. Yeah. A lot of sanding and caulk, wood filler, whatever, to try to get it to look right. So kind of worked from the corner back and did our outside 45 on both pieces there and glued that together. Went ahead and did our cope mm -hmm. on this end. Right in. And once we got that done, then we could kind of keep fitting this, make sure this was the right length. Yeah. And then we applied our cyanoacrylate uh, glue with the uh, accelerant mm -hmm. to this joint, got it glued up. And okay. then, uh, so now we're just waiting, that, waiting for that to harden, probably let it sit five minutes and then should be uh, okay. strong enough at that point to go ahead and you know manipulate it into position, get everything okay. looking good. We got to put this piece up first, right? 
Well, we should probably use this joint to, yeah. you know, manipulate that piece that to get it roughly where mm -hmm. we need it. And then we can just do a final little fit and fiddle okay. uh, to get this to fit real nice in the corner. All right. Sounds good. It's a process. It is. <laughs> Everything is. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got her up and it actually looks very, very nice, doesn't it, hon? It does. Happy with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amber's taking a break. She's been working hard. <laughs> she is chillaxed. I can't wait to chill axe by the pool. Oh, I know. Stepping around all this trim here. So we got our uh, lap joint here, but we're actually going to leave that for now. We've got to wait till we get our kitchen cabinets up so we can trim out around it. So we run down to the corner here and we got our nice coat joint here. That turned out nice. And we got our lap joint here. That looks good. That was a, that was a fighter. And then we got this piece going across here. So we made good progress so far. Next, we're gonna go over here. I'll finish putting some nailers up on this wall. And then we'll do a right hand. I'm gonna trip over a few more things on the way over here. Then we'll do a right hand cope and run this piece down this way. And that's gonna get this uh, office or solarium finished up for the day. So we're excited about that. All right, so this is the wall we're gonna work on next. Just got the uh, joint coped for the other end there. Hopefully that'll give us a nice tight joint. We got all our nailers up there. I think it's gonna be the last piece we put up in this area for today. It's getting late in the day and I think the kids wanna take a hike or go have a fire at the barbecue. So I think we're gonna break for the day and go uh, enjoy some of this beautiful weather outside. This one of these early spring days where it's just really pretty outside. But we're looking forward to getting the last piece up in the office here. Get this room finished off. It is looking really, really good. So we'll get it up and then uh, see what we got left. All right, we got it up. It actually went up pretty nicely. Nice tight coat joint on this end. Proud of that one. And we got our nailers all the way in place, all the way down through here. And we've got a lap joint. And so we'll pick up with the next piece and that'll run probably over to the door there or yeah, close to it. Close to here. That's about all we can do because the cabinets for the kitchen start here. So. Yeah, so we're gonna have to change change gears once we hit those cabinets. But um, yeah, so that's looking really good. We made a lot of progress, hon. We did. What do you think? You happy? I am. Looks really good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Starting to finish this room off. It's gonna look even better once we get our uh, jams up and our cased openings, I should say, and uh, the casing. That's gonna look really nice. Gotta finish those doors out nicely. And once the wood goes down in here, man, really gonna look good. Cannot wait to see that. All right, well, that's gonna wrap things up for today. Thank you guys for hanging out with us in this very special episode Yay. of Crown in the Office. <laughs> oh, you said office. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Crown looks great. That really makes the space look fantastic. And uh, it really just frames it out nicely, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. So next up, we'll, uh, what? What do we got next? Cased openings, I guess. I so, so for, yeah, for these sliders. For these big sliders. Mm -hmm. That's going to look really great. Okay. Plus, we can do these cased openings uh, going down in the living room. Yeah. Well, no, we don't have the wood for that. Oh, okay. It's Never coming mind. from the, yeah. Quality woods. One of the few pieces that we didn't get the first time around. Yes, okay. got left out. Well, we got lots to do. So as soon as we get the cased openings done around the doors, then we can move into the family room and case those doors out and case the big windows and the window in the kitchen. Then we can mm -hmm. go and do that, right? Yeah, we can do that. Cool. Yeah, we still got lots to do. So next time we see you, we'll be doing more trim. I know, you're shocked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got a big weekend of trim coming up and looking forward to getting some more of that stuff knocked out. Like I said, we're going to go spend some time with the kids in the woods, just get them outside and uh, do a little fun stuff with uh, the nice weather that we're having. So be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode. And uh, give us a like if you would, please. Always good to see those. Got any comments or questions, leave those down below. And as always, please share the channel with your friends and family. Right, hon? Yes, always. Strangers, people Whoever. at the gas station, <laughs> people in your church pew, whatever. We don't care. Share the channel. Thank you, guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.